Hey everybody, it's Riley. I'm back with another craft video and this week we're going to be making piggy banks. This one's a really good one to do with the little kiddos at home um, and all we're going to need is just a few simple things that you will find at home. Again, as a reminder, please do not go out and buy any of these materials. Only use what you have at home because you should be staying at home. But here is what you will need to make this craft. So after you've gathered all of your materials, I'm going to start out with my tissue box. Um, yours may be a little bit different. You may not have tissue boxes at home, that's okay. Um, use whatever you have. You could use a jar if you want to, but I'm going to be using this. So what I'm going to be doing first is measuring out the paper that I want to cover the outside of this box. You can use paint if you want to, or you can just color right on this box. But what I'm going to do is start measuring out the size of the paper that I want to start lining the outside so I can get started on this piggy bank. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take my construction paper and I'm actually going to be making a pig for the piggy bank. So I have pink, but you use whatever you want. And I'm going to take my tissue box, line it up on the edge just like this. And this is going to be for the sides. Take your pencil and mark down the edge where you're going to need to cut this paper to line up with your box. And I'm just going to continue to do that. And it's looking like I'm going to need two sheets of paper to be able to wrap completely around this box. So I'm going to cut these out and come back when the sides are all wrapped up and taped up and ready to go. Okay, so after you're done covering your box in the paper that you want to cover it in, I also did the top and just cut a little hole where that tissue uh, box hole was originally. Um, I just did it the same way that I did the size, measured it out, cut it, and then taped it around the box. But now you should have a box that is completely covered in the color that you want. And so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start cutting out the pieces that I want to attach to this piggy bank to make it look like a pig. And so what I'm going to do is, again, take my little pieces of scrap that I just had, and I'm just going to draw out little pieces of like the ears and the tail, the nose, stuff like that. And so I'm going to show you what that looks like. I have a Sharpie marker. You can use a pencil or any other type of writing utensil you want to use but I'm going to be using this to make it easier for everyone to see what I'm doing. But I'm going to start off with the ears first. And I'm just going to maybe do something like this. Kind of point it downwards a little bit. Something like that. That's one of them. I'm going to do the other one. something that looks like that. And then what you're going to want to do for the tail, if you're going to be doing a pig, is make a decently wide spiral, just like this, so you can have that little curly tail. Just like that. And this is where I'm going to be cutting the ears. And then after you're done drawing those out, you can cut them out and then tape or glue them to your tissue box wherever you'd like.
Now that you have your ears and your tail cut out, what you're going to do is either tape or glue them to the spots where you think is best. And so what I'm going to do is take two little pieces of tape, loop them like that, and these will be for my ears. Just like that. Stick them to the bottom back of the ears with both of them. Figure out where you want your front of your piggy bank to be. Take your ears and stick them just like that. I'm going to put mine right in the corners. You can put yours at the top or the sides, but I'm going to do this. And then with your tail, I'm going to stretch mine out a little bit to kind of make it stick out, just like this. Make sure not to rip it. Take another little loop of tape, stick it to that tail right at the bottom, wherever you want the back to be, and then stick it to the back. And there you have your curly tail and your little ear so far. So now what you can do next is add the eyes and the nose and the mouth if you want to. You can even add little feet, which I am going to do. There are a few ways that you can do that. I have different colored construction paper that I'm going to cut out and tape onto this box to make the eyes and everything else. You can draw it on, you can paint it on, you can do whatever you want. But what I'm going to do is take out my other colors here and start making the other pieces that I want to put on this piggy bank. So I've got my piggy bank here and my white sheet of paper. And all I'm going to do is draw out the eye shape that I want for my piggy bank. And I think I'm just going to do some ovals, just like this. Pretty big. Two of those. And then actually with my Sharpie marker, I'm just going to put their little pupils in, just like that, a little shine in the eye. Just like that. And you can color it in with the Sharpie, but what I'm going to do is take out my markers, color in that pupil, just like this. And then I'm even going to add the color or the iris of the eye, and I think I'm going to make that color blue. And another thing you can do is you can actually add the eyelids. I'm actually going to do that with a little bit of pink. And he's going to have sleepy eyelids. Just like this. And then once you're done drawing out your eyes, you're just going to take them and cut them out and tape them to your pig. So like I said, after you have your little eyes, and I also went ahead and just made a little pig nose really quick off camera, and you're just going to take your taper glue and tape, stick those down with the little loops just like that on the back. Stick those down on the front of your face wherever you think it'll look good. I got one there. And... Again, make those little loops if you have tape. 
There's the second eye. And now your little piggy bank has eyes. I'm going to tape the little nose down. I made a pretty big nose, so what I'm going to do is actually use two pieces of tape on each side. Make your little loops. Stick it on the back. And then I'm actually going to put mine a little bit over the eyes to give it a little bit of depth. But that's what he looks like. And you can choose to put a mouth on there. You can choose to put um, some little legs on there. I think that's what I'm going to do now. Um, I'm actually going to take my Sharpie and draw some little feet on the sides here. And I'm just going to do a little line like this, curved line like that. Make a little point for the hoof. Make another one. So you have like a wavy W looking thing. And then draw something like that and then color in that hoof. And then you should have something like this on the side. So it looks like he's got little little hands. But I'm going to do that all around the whole piggy bank. And then I'll show you what I'm going to do for the mouth. Okay, so after you're done with the little legs, if you choose to add those, all you pretty much have to do is, if you want to, add a little mouth. I'm going to put a little smiley face on this guy. Hmm, thinking, let's do kind of a sleepy looking little smile. Why not? Some little dimples in there. Maybe even add some eyebrows. I think I'm going to. Color those in. And you can do this with crayon, marker, pencil, whatever you have. I'm just going to be adding in little details with my Sharpie marker here. And then after that, you have yourself a little piggy bank. You got your hole in the top, you can put little coins or dollar bills in there. And like I said before, this is a really good one to do with the little kids at home. Um, this will be a fun little craft for them to put together, cut out some little shapes and make sure everything's nice and stuck down. But after you have added all of the detail that you wanted, you're done. But thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned next week for another craft video. Um, I'm going to be making a whole bunch of stuff with you guys. But you have your piggy bank now and I'm sure it looks great. But until next week guys, I'll catch you later. See ya.